are we going to say goodbye to SEO tools? This is kind of like tools like Surfer SEO on the way out. In this video, we're going to look at Google Gemini SEO for blog posts, for articles, for content. And we're going to look at how you can actually util utilize this amazing, amazing free AI software to actually start rising your blog posts up to the top of the search engines. Who knows, by the end of this video, if you have any of these expensive subscriptions, you might actually kind of say, hey, look, I'm not paying for this anymore. So with that said, what we're gonna actually do here is we're gonna look at a piece of content that is ranking basically on pages well down in the search engines. So something like, let's say if one of your posts was on uh, page five. So we're gonna do a quick search to find a blog post that's well down in the search engines. And then we're gonna look at re-optimizing that using Google Bar Gemini and some cool little prompts that I've actually created. Now, you have access to these prompts here on my Substack, so there will be a link down below uh, the video to my Substack where you can go and grab the prompts as well. So the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna come over to Google and we're gonna search for a keyword that we're actually looking to optimize our content for. Now, potentially you already know what content is actually lagging behind, which kind of is on page five or page four or page three, and you wish that it would actually get to page one. So we're just gonna do a search here. And the search term that I'm gonna to use today is how to make batch bread at home. And the reason that I'm using that is my little brother actually made batch bread recently. Pretty pretty good little chef. Uh, so I just thought that this was an interesting one. So like if we scroll down, let's just scroll down these pages here, okay? But first, let's go over like, so the keyword that we know that we wanna actually targeting is how to make batch bread at home. So we're to Gemini, bar Gemini, Going to click a new chat. I'm going to come back over to our sub stack. I'm just going to copy our uh, our prompt here. I'm going to paste it in here. So our keyword is how to make batch bread at home. And here is the prompt. I want you to extract the meaning, intent, and context of my target keyword, how to make batch bread at home. I want you to create a list of related keywords by understanding the language and natural relationships to identify relevant concepts entities and topics related to the main keyword. Then I want you to prioritize them based on the relevance, search volume, and potential impact on the content created. So that's our first one. I know it's a bit of a tongue twister, okay? But it basically adheres to all of the elements that Google wanna see within the content. Okay, and so here we have, we've got meaning, intent of context, how to make batch bread at home, meaning the keyword expresses a desire to learn how to bake a large quantity of bread at home. Intent, the user is likely looking for instructions, recipes, and tips of the process. Context, this should be someone who enjoys baking, wants to save money by making their own bread, or needs to feed a, feed a large group of people. So then it's kind of going, giving us related keywords. We've got high relevance, high search volume, high impact keywords. Recipe variations, white, wheat, sourdough, flavorings, herbs, nuts, fruits, special diets, gluten-free, uh, vegan. And you got baking techniques, okay? And you got equipment and standard mixers. Then you got medium relevance keywords here. Okay, you've got uh, medium search volume, uh, benefits of baking batch bread, pairing suggestions, uh, gifting homemade bread, food science, understanding gluten development. These are pretty, pretty cool. And you got low relevance in here. Then you've got a thing on prioritization. The keywords should be prioritized based on their potential to answer the user's intent and create engaging content. High relevance, high search volume, and high impact keywords should be the main focus that you're actually looking to do. Okay, so this is an absolutely brilliant start. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna grab our next prompt which is this. And we're gonna paste that into there. Now what we need to do is we need to go and grab that text from the article that we wanna actually do. So we're just gonna grab all this. And we're just gonna paste that text in there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna delete words that aren't necessary in here. Uh, because sometimes when you copy directly from a web page, you're going to get all these things like social share and stuff like that. Like, as you can see here, learn more, sponsored by Pottery Barn, etc. So let me do that. And so once I've edited it, there you go. I'm just going to press enter. And the text of prompt is, I want you to analyze this text and suggest ways to naturally integrate these keywords into the content, ensuring readability and avoiding keyword stuffing. And what we're gonna get now from Bard is, we're gonna get its suggestions on actually how to improve our blog posts. If we improve these blog posts, we're gonna start rising up the rankings, okay? So integrating keywords naturally, 
While your blog post is well written, there's room to naturally integrate some keywords without compromising readability. So first, high relevance, high search volume, high impact. Remember that. OK, in the intro, highlight uh, craving home small batch dinner rolls without a standard mixer. This recipe delivers soft. OK, then throughout the recipe, emphasize on no mixer aspect. So what we've got here is all of the suggestions that Bard says that we should actually or Bard Gemini says that we should be putting in here. The next stage is obviously putting this article together. OK, and that's really what this is about. So what we want to do is we want to actually ask Bard. How do we integrate it? Like, how do we get these? Where should I actually put this in? So let's come back over to Substack. And if you've stayed with me this long, well, then you're going to see um, the, the prompt that I'm going to use here. So let's, let's scroll down and I want you to come to here. So I just want you to grab this. It starts with, I want you. Okay. And it ends with avoid keyword stuffing. Okay. So let's come back over to Bard. We're just going to enter that in there. And what we're going to do here is we're just going to delete this. Uh, OK, and we're also going to delete this here. Now you have this prompt, OK? Yeah, I'm trying a little bit of gamification in here, guys. So I want you to analyze the text and suggest ways to naturally integrate these keywords into the content, ensuring readability and avoiding keyword stuffing. We're going to press enter. And so here is what we have. Sure, here's how I propose to integrate keywords naturally within your existing text, highlighting the specific placements. Replace high high with craving warm soft dinner rolls, but don't have a standard mixer. Then in your body, add mixer before dinner rolls, thank you section. After introducing the method, this technique creates a roux-like base for extra moist and fluffy rolls. The kneading section, replace 10 minutes of kneading with 10 minutes of kneading to develop the gluten for the signature airy texture. So you've got you've got loads of little ideas in there to actually re-optimize your content. OK, once you've actually re-optimized your content based on what it's actually telling you, what you need to do then is go to Google Search Console. Once you're in Google Search Console, you resubmit your article to Google and it's going to re-index it. OK. This is one of the easiest ways to actually, without paying a fortune on something like SEO Surfer, to actually get your content like re looked at by Google and actually said, hey, these guys know what they're talking about. Why are they on page five? I want them on page one. So, anyway, my name's been Kieran Doyle. I'm the creator of the Blog Profit Path, teaching you how to excel in blogging online. So, if you want to check that out, it's in the description down there. But also make sure you check out my Substack as well, which has the prompt on it. So, Keep it easy. I'll see you in the next video.